So, huh? It's your birthday, twin. It is. Happy birthday, bro. Today's Today's you get a press conference for your birthday. Oh, he ain't going to tell nobody. Oh, uh, yeah. He's a little quiet guy, man. <laughs> Just a few weeks ago, we were talking to some of the guys in your room about how they were playing well, but they weren't getting the sacks. Mm -hmm. Now, all of a sudden, you guys lead the, the Big 12 in sacks. Right. What do you think has changed in that room? And um, just and it's not just one guy. It's all you guys are getting some sacks. Now. What's right. changed? I think just being selfless, just uh, rushing as one. Like I said, uh, after the game, just rushing together. Um, I feel like when we do that and just put away our needs and what we want, I feel like we can be unstoppable. Keaton, Adam Mr. Tiger, 24-7 Sports. Uh, we saw Coach bring you up in front of the team after the game. Uh, you talked about your foot injury. What got you to this point? Uh, you know, where, where I would imagine there were some tough times along the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. It was just surprising just to get hurt first overall. And uh, especially going into fall camp, big fall camp for me since I'm a junior. But um, they've just been, uh, been uh, considerate on my part, just letting me uh, redshirt and playing with me strategically four games. So I'm just glad I get to um, showcase my skills. So. Keaton, happy birthday, man. Appreciate that. Uh, Michael Wanda, I was 65. Mike up. Hey, uh, what's your process, man? Like, what was your process of going from like being injured to like the rehab, uh, all that? I got another question for you as well. But. My process was just head down and work every day, even if, even when I wake up and don't feel like it, just make sure I get, get myself into that training room and rehab. Um, also big thanks to uh, uh, AP and Kango uh, for taking care of me and making sure I, I'm right and 100% healthy. And um, it was a long, long, long recovery, but um, I'm just glad I'm back now. And what's on your playlist game day? Three songs. Playlist, uh, I say, I'll give you some artists. Um, Definitely uh, Key Glock and the NBA Young Boy. And then uh, I definitely like to get in my gospel music, like Kirk Franklin or something like that. Thank you. Keep it up. Happy for us again. Happy birthday. Um, I guess when you, when you go up against like Shadow every day in practice and, and then Travis, how much does that prepare the defense? And what were they like in practice compared? I mean, I guess you've seen everything when you go up against them. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, like just when I was coming back, I, uh, I started off off on scout team, so that helped me a lot, just going up, up against the number ones, like C and uh, all the other alignment, um, just getting in their head, talking trash, and uh, just doing what I do. So they made me better every day, and hopefully I did make them better. Matt, go ahead. Since you were playing, coming away from the Nebraska game, did you notice a shift afterwards in the coaching staff and the team? Did it serve as a wake-up call, that loss in Lincoln? I think it did, um, especially just uh, the way we played the first week. Um, I felt like we just needed to regroup and find ourselves and um, find our meaning to like what like we wanted our defense to be. And I um, feel like we're doing that right now, but we still got a lot of work to do next next half of the season. Did you notice an intensity shift in the coaching staff following that? It seemed like that was one of the points of emphasis. Did it feel like that as a player, or did it feel the same? Yeah, de uh, definitely did. Uh, they just placed more of an emphasis on practice, just Tuesday through uh, Tuesday through Friday, just making sure we practice like it's a game, um, hustling to the ball, giving 100 percent effort. So I felt like they brought the intensity up there. Um, you and your brother Destin came to Colorado together. Just wondering if you could talk about your relationship with him and why it's important for you guys to, you know, take this next journey together. Mm -hmm. Man, he's he's just always been my side. He's, we've been playing football ever since uh, five years old. 
uh, been on the same team since five years old, so that's special. Um, he's just right there when I need him. When I was hurt, he supported me, um, helped me through my injury, gave me the confidence just to go out there and play. Um, and I'm, I'm just very grateful for him. He also got two snaps, I believe, against uh, Arizona. Just what was it like seeing him also get in there as well? It was awesome. I know he hasn't been in the game since his uh, freshman year, so uh, I'm glad he got a chance to go out there and uh, feel what it's like to control the offense. So I'm, I'm glad. Well, Brian, go ahead. I just want to ask about your relationship with your brother, but like when you guys got in the portal, like whose decision was it to, to jump first, and who who had you guys make the decision in Colorado? Is there somebody that liked it first, or did you guys both kind of collectively come to that decision? Um, so he jumped in first, and I think I jumped in the day after him, but. Um, after talking to schools and uh, um, praying to God, I felt like Colorado was just the best fit for both of us overall. And uh, I'm glad I'm here. Uh, I know he's glad he's here. And uh, we just can't wait to help, help the team win. Tyler Rathbone. Just curious, you mentioned the plan to redshirt this season. I mean, was that just like an injury thing? Or is that does that change after a big game? Or how does that kind of thought process go for the rest of the year? Um, yeah, we'll see. I mean, um, before I played, I talked to Coach Livingston and uh, Coach Coach Nancy. Uh, they all said it was smart for me to register, um, but I also can talk to them, see what they want, want their plan for me to be. But um, I'm here anyway. I can help the team. So, like I said. All right. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.